Integrity is an interesting word. Um, I think there's some confusion about it. It comes from the root word integer, which means one. Mm -hmm. uh, that would lead to a word like integrated, and an integrated society is one society. So a person of integrity, a leader of integrity, well, there's a consistency to their life. Uh, their walk and talk match. Uh, they are not talking one way and uh, walking in completely the opposite direction. And um, uh, so a, a leader of integrity, uh, they're the same as at the office as they are, you know, at uh, a business meeting in the, in the community. They're the same at home as they are in church on Sunday morning. There's a, uh, the tongue in their mouth is always pointing in the same direction as the tongue in their shoes. That's probably the mm. best way to, That's good. That's just, great just to describe it. Eisenhower was a leader of integrity. He talked openly about that. He, he made the statement that he thought the most important quality that any leader must possess was integrity. Uh, he served in the Philippines for six years under Douglas MacArthur. Uh, this was prior to World War II, but the Philippine government was so grateful and thankful to our military leaders there that they decided that they wanted to uh, reward our military leaders financially and they ended up giving some major amounts of money. Uh, it, it was legal, there was nothing wrong with it. I think MacArthur walked away with $500,000. Well, the same uh, proposal was made to Eisenhower, uh, he declined. Uh, he said, I just don't feel right doing that. I'm, I have a, a job, I'm paid for that, uh, but uh, I'm, go I'm gonna pass on that offer. Uh, well, I, uh, when, when, when you really thought about that, boy, that's, uh, that's pretty special. Uh, mm -hmm. That's how Ike lived his life. I think that's why when it was time to pick the general uh, to lead our forces you know, in the invasion of Europe, in 1944, everybody seemed unanimous that Eisenhower was the guy. And of course, he had that experience and then came out of that. He was elected president twice, 1952, 1956. I, I think my sense was that across the nation, people trusted him. Hmm. Uh, they felt that he was trustworthy and a man of character. He was not perfect. None of these people we write about were perfect, but, but Ike had a lot going in the character department, and I think that's why he's... Uh, so well remembered today. What do you think is the most difficult of these West Point virtues to emulate in one's life? Maybe courage. Uh, John Wayne maybe said it best, courage is uh, saddling up anyway. You know, he said you can be scared to death, but saddle up anyway and, and press on. And uh, it takes courage, I think, almost on a daily basis. Uh, it may not be physical courage, but it takes uh, spiritual courage. It takes uh, emotional courage to do the right things under tough circumstances. It takes courage to say no when you're a college student, when everybody else is saying, yes, let's just go do this or that, and you know it's wrong, and you stand up and say, no, I think I'm not going to participate in that. And then you get teased and you get mocked and scorned, you know, but uh, at the end of the day, you feel a lot better about yourself. It takes courage to pass on uh, uh, taking shortcuts in, in your exams at school, you know, or, or doing things that aren't right, uh, and you know it, and you just say, no, I'm, I'm not going to participate in that. Um, so courage is a, is a tough one. You've got to practice it every day. It's not easy. It never gets easier, but um, it, it's awfully important to, to be a leader of courage.